My name is Simon Lanton. I'm an explorer and scientist. I recently discovered a map leading to an abandoned war base. Discovering the map made me very excited, as it gave me the opportunity to write my first book on an historical building. However, this war base is not what it seems. Time to get ready and pack up all my stuff before I go. Alright, I got my lantern and backpack. I am ready to go. Rick should be waiting for me. I can't be late. So Rick flew me all the way to the base. It was a very long flight. I said goodbye and walked the rest of the way on foot. Eventually, I found the base. In case you lose your exit key, there are spare exit keys somewhere in the prison. However, if there's a padlock on it, you should have a key for it. But for whatever reason you happen to not have a key for it, then you have to make an acid mixture to burn the padlock off the door. To make the acid mixture, you will need the following ingredients. Aqua regia, orpiment, cuprite, and calamine. Three of the mixtures are located in the cellar, and the last one is hidden somewhere in the hospital, so that spies won't successfully go into the prison and free the prisoners. When you have all the ingredients, pour all of them into the acid barrel and put the container in it, and you will have an incomplete acid mixture. Finally, put the incomplete acid mixture on the burner to heat up the mixture, 
and you will finally have your acid mixture. Signed, Larry Cooper. Sounds like a great idea, Gerald. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, boss. We will take those knights' land. Mark our fucking words! September 21st, 1798. I've been awfully stressed lately, and the war is still going on. I am not really sure how long this war will last, but I just want those damn knights just to give us that land of theirs. I have been drinking wine lately more than usual. The pressure of the war is starting to get to me. I hope this war ends soon. Signed. Gerald. What the hell are you doing in my bags? July 28th, 1798. We were fighting over land across from Mars. We love that land. We wanted to take it as our own. But the Knights, however, said no. And they would rather die than let us take over their land. So that is how the war started. I, Gerald, had become the plan leader. We will not rest, and that land will be ours, mark our words. August 4th, 1798. So my first plan was very successful. We took down the first wave of the knights, and we only lost a little of our warriors. But still, it was a very good first fight of the war. Nothing is going to get on our way now. Signed, Gerald. Second thoughts. You hide the fourth degree somewhere else. Would the hospital be a good place? Sure. Maybe keep the hospital locked. You can't afford a spy getting into the prison. Yes, sir. Why are you drinking this late? Well, uh, shit, I don't know. 
Let's just discuss this tomorrow. Alright. November 1st, 1798. After our first three successful attacks in the past month, we were winning the war. I went to Gerald to tell him that our third attack was successful with our allies, the warriors. However, I went up to him, he was completely knocked out, probably from all that drinking. I had to take him to our Dr. Mason to figure out what was wrong with him. I told him to stop drinking, but that stubborn son of a bitch won't listen. Overall, I hope he's okay, because we can potentially lose the war without him. Signed, David Thompson. <laughs> October 16, 1798. We are a few months into the war, but it's proven to be a little difficult since Gerald, our clan leader, recently had a drinking problem. His ideas are really good, but I really need to stop his addiction before it gets worse. We recently added a padlock to the prison door for extra security purposes. Our scientist, Larry, created an acid mixture just in case we lost all our keys to the padlock. He trusted me with the only key we had since we ran out of the material to create more. I just hope this war ends soon because I'm not sure if I can take this anymore. Signed, David Thompson. November 1st, 1798. Well, my fears appear to be correct. Gerald indeed, in fact, had alcohol poisoning. His alcohol addiction was worse than I thought. Shortly after David dropped Gerald off, he slightly woke up, but can't seem to wake up fully. I tried giving him some antibiotics, but one hour later, his heartbeat was slower than usual, and his body was colder too. Eventually, his heart gave up, and he died, unfortunately. Time of death, 2359. Signed, Dr. Mason.
November 2nd, 1798. Around 10 o'clock, Dr. Mason told me that Gerald has died from alcohol poisoning. This has devastated me and our allies. We aren't sure what to do, but I took the initiative and became the new plan leader. November 8th, 1798. It's been almost a week since Gerald had died, and things haven't been going well. The war has been more difficult than ever, but I am not giving up hope. I know there's a chance we could win this war, and the knights will fall down, and we will win their land. November 13th, 1798. I was good without Gerald's plans. Eventually, the knights overpowered us, and we were forced to surrender. After all this mess, I realized that all this time since Gerald passed away, I missed him. I truly cared about him. I, I wish I'd done a better job of helping Gerald. Sorry, Gerald. Signed, David Thompson.
sure what the date is. But all I know is that my days are numbered. It's only a matter of time before I die in this damn prison. I've been here for four, three, five days, two weeks? I don't know. My mind is somewhere else, and all I feel is fear from thinking not being able to leave this horrible place. Death seems very comforting at this point. took one of my allies and questioned him for answers. I heard his screams for a while, and then it faded, and it went dead silent. That alone scares the absolute shit out of me, because soon it would be me who would be questioned next for answers. November 14th, 1798. I had to pack up all my stuff, including the other guard Scott Robinson stuff, since he didn't want to go back to that base again. He told me that he saw a shadow lurking in there. I didn't believe him, and I thought he was just full of shit. But as I was leaving the prison, I saw two glowing red eyes and a shadow at the end of the first floor of the prison. It disappeared before my eyes. I think I'm just seeing things, and my mind is just screwing with me. After all, we were all in that base for a very long time in almost complete darkness, also being isolated half of the time, but that is just what I think. I am a scientist, not a doctor. Perhaps I can talk to Dr. Mason what I've seen. Signed, Larry Cooper.
I got home, safe and sound. That whole trip and everything is something that I'll never forget. I didn't realize going to that base was going to cause all of that trouble. I also had burned the map so that no one else could go to that horrible place. I told my fellow explorers of my findings and the ghost figure that chased me, but they didn't believe me. I honestly don't blame them. How can such a ludicrous thing happen? After all, ghosts aren't real and they don't follow you.